want to add one last thing. One last thing, because I think it's very important that we understand what we're dealing with here, right? In 2010, according to a report that came out on the evening of, on the eve of America's presidential elections in 2012 in UFDA, the Israeli investigative report, we learned that two of the gentlemen on this panel with us, right, were given an order to prepare the military for an imminent strike against Iran's nuclear installations, and they refused. And if because we, it was an illegal order, what? It was an illegal was, order. You were the director of Mossad. You, was not, you, you were, were not there. By the security you cabinet don't know what, what happened there. This is certainly and a the matter government, of interpretation. And the prime minister, without not, the authority had of the government, you not brought in your expert legal opinion to determine whether or not the prime minister of Israel and the defense minister of Israel have a right to order Israel to take action in its national defense, then we would not be where we are today. We would not be in a position where we are now faced with a situation where no international coalition will be built, where now we are seeing the United States moving forward towards the end of the month to conclude a nuclear agreement with Tehran that will enable them to acquire the bomb. We would be in a different position. They changed their mind about enriched uranium two years ago, not five years ago. We would be in a different position, and I think it is important to understand what we're dealing with here. Thank you. Thank you.